It is now 13 months since Northern Ireland's power sharing agreement collapsed and the situation has reached crisis point which many now predicting some kind of direct rule from Westminster is looking increasingly likely. Sinn Féin and the DUP will meet Theresa May in Downing Street today to try and break the deadlock. Joining us to discuss this is uh, Shadow Northern Ireland Secretary Owen Smith. Very good morning to you. Good morning. Um, it's good to see you. We haven't seen you, I don't think, since you were challenging Jeremy Corbyn for leadership of the Labour Party. No, I'm, I'm, I'm in recovery, but I'm, I'm coming through. But you've managed to find a role despite that. Uh, so that rivalry, he hasn't held against you? No, Jeremy was very good and invited me back into the Shadow Cabinet a while ago now to be the Northern Ireland Secretary Shadow. I was uh, over there in the last Labour government acting as advisor on Northern Ireland, so it's familiar territory for me and I'm very much enjoying it. It is uh, a mess, frankly, isn't it? It um, is. What advice, uh, if Theresa May is in listening mode, would you give her on how to break this deadlock? Well, I think she's got to get stuck in a bit more for a start. She's uh, been in stark contrast to Tony Blair when Labour was in power. He knew all of the players, he understood all of the issues. Theresa May, by contrast, has only really turned up at the last minute last week, I think, hoping to cut the ribbon on a deal. Do you, only know, to find that? That you, don't, do you know that she hasn't been talking to them on the phone and, and dealing with them? I think, I no, mean, I her think public some... presence sends a very clear message, doesn't it? She might have wanted to do things more behind the scenes, as indeed Tony Blair and his team did back then as well. Well, Tony Blair, I mean, I was there when Tony Blair was doing that, and he was in Northern Ireland pretty much every week. Uh, and there were certainly people from number 10 who were absolutely involved in the process. And that did make a big difference. I think by contrast, Theresa May, like David Cameron to some extent, has wanted to keep Northern Ireland at a bit of distance. And that did, I think, play to her disadvantage last Monday when she came over. Even the DUP, her partners in Westminster, said her intervention was unhelpful, mm. uh, implying they didn't want her to be there. And I think if she'd been a bit more engaged, then we might have made a bit more progress. But hopefully today... Uh, the government are still, you know, slightly surprisingly very, very optimistic about the prospect of a deal. It's good to hear that. Let's hope they can pull something off today and in the coming days. I want to ask you about something that uh, Jeremy Corbyn um, said uh, yesterday, talking to industrialists and uh, engineers about the fact that there needs to be a customs union now uh, with the EU after Brexit. Um, because that's significant in your role, isn't it? Because nobody wants to see the return of a hard border between Northern Ireland and the EU in Ireland. And how do you do that unless you have full customs alignment and a customs union? Um, so what is the Labour Party's position now? on customs union with the EU after Brexit? Well, I, I agree with you. I think keeping an open border in Ireland is crucial for the prosperity of the people of mm. Northern Ireland, but it's also critically crucial for the peace in Northern the Ireland. Good Friday because it agreement. was part yeah. of the agreement that we dismantle all of those towers and the checks we had on the border. Yeah. And everybody can see that if we were to put that back, then it would have an impact on the peace process. The issue is, of course, so if, we view, leave, if we leave Labour's, the EU, Labour's we're views, supposed to be leaving the customs union. So well, what is Labour's position? Well, and we will be leaving the customs union, because if we're not a member of the EU, then we won't be in the customs union as it's currently constituted. But I think what Labour is saying, and I think Jeremy clarified this yesterday, is we've got to be in a customs union. Yes, what does I, that we've got... mean, though? I noticed Emily Thornbury also said that we can some kind of customs union. I think it means... Jeremy we... said a customs union. What would that be? Well, for me, what it means, Kate, is we've got to have exactly what we've currently got called by a slightly different name. We've got to be in the same sorts of customs arrangements so there are no tariffs the same sort of and there are no the same border sort of checks. agreements, the same sort of sign-ups, the same sort of things that the people who voted out don't want. Well, I don't think the people who voted out voted to put back a hard border in Northern Ireland no, and to see to the, the troubles return in Northern Ireland. And what I'm saying is if you want to avoid the troubles coming back, if you want to make sure that we retain the sort of gains we've seen in Northern Ireland, peace and prosperity, mm -hmm. then you've got to have a customs arrangement which guarantees there's no tariffs or checks well, on the border. I th I and think, that means you've got to be yeah. in a customs union. That, the trouble is, I think, that people watching will think, what is the difference between mm. the customs union and a customs union? And if I just refer you to something that a spokesperson for Jeremy Corbyn said uh, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, Jeremy did not say he was open to staying in the customs union. We have been clear all the way 
through this process that you can't be in the customs union if you are not in the EU. I mean, aren't you dancing on a pin here by saying, oh, no, we're not saying we're going to stay in the customs union, we're saying we're going to stay in a customs union? Because they sound, you know, say it slightly quickly, like exactly the same thing. Well, I think it's technically correct, but the reality, as I've just said, is that effectively it is staying at the customs union. It'll be called a customs union because it will have to be a separate deal to the one that current members, including the UK, of the EU has with the other members. So it can't be the same customs union. <laughs>